Who are we? Who are we? Well, first off, I'm Fraser. And I'm Ian. And together we work at Studio B as volunteers in Deloraine, Tasmania. Studio B is a community enterprise for audiovisual awesome stuff. stuff. Yeah. It's an excuse for buying fancy things and playing with them and um, occasionally making cool stuff happen. Yeah, we record bands and short films and odds and ends. And we're here to talk to you about the, um, our upcoming Deloraine International Film Festival, which is going to be the coolest international film festival um, in Deloraine. <laughs> the best Deloraine International Film Festival Deloraine's ever had. Yeah, and you might be wondering why you've never heard about this, and that's because it's so <laughs> <first> awesomely... <laughs> and I am underground. <laughs> it's awesomely exclusive. And you should send your films to us. Yes. And we do. will look at them. Why are we doing it? Why are we doing it? Oh, why are we doing it? <laughs> Because nobody stopped us. <laughs> That's why we do anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we're doing it because uh, we are trying to demonstrate that um, filmmaking now is location non-specific. As ironic as that sounds, you can shoot a film anywhere in the world and have it screened in Deloraine, Tasmania, which is much more exotic than having it screened in France, say at the Cairns. People Cairns. have heard of France. No one's no heard one's of Tasmania. Heard. That's true. It's Tanzania. Tanzania? Tasmania. Tasmania. People Tasmania. always say, wow, your English is really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, and you might win something. Yeah, there will be prizes um, of all sorts, and we'll have details of hopefully. what they are, hopefully, somewhere. Uh, we'll try and get some local produce. Tasmania is famous for all its um, agricultural and um, local produce stuff, so we might have some goodies like that to send you away. Um, it's a trout farm it's down the road. <laughs> we'll send you a fish. Send you a fish. We did. We did. Um, we've always wanted to award someone like first place, second place, <laughs> place being fish, place yes, being fish, yes. or possibly as an audience choice. Which film do you think the filmmakers need a fish nail to their house? Yeah, that's a good <laughs> audience participation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, another part of um, of what what I think would be good is 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 having more people exposed to films that have been made by real people who aren't. Mm. In necessarily in Hollywood getting paid lots of money but people just who are passionate about what they do and showing that to anyone or everyone you can help inspire the next generation of filmmakers so yeah yeah seeing that it can be done it's not magic and it's not rocket science um, you just need to turn up and start doing it hmm <clears throat> shall I ask you where Tasmania is you should uh, Tasmania is the little triangular shaped island at the uh, southern end of Australia pointing at Antarctica um, there's two little islands up the top. It's a little bit like horns. And Deloraine is kind of the middle of the top, if you'd like. Yeah. You can try and find us on Google. Google. Google, Google, Google Maps. Google Maps for mm, Google Earth. Deloraine. Yeah. Has a pretty big craft fair, lots of arts and crafts happening in this region. Not as much filmmaking as should be happening. Not as much filmmaking. We're yeah. going to change that. And if you're, um, if you're from somewhere else, this is probably as far away as you can go to get a film screened um, without trying really, really hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are as far away from everywhere as, as you can get as you before can you get. start coming back around the other side. Yeah, yeah, or heading to Antarctica. Yeah. But we'll accept for consideration any quality of film you've got. If it's got a good idea inside it, if it's something that will inspire people um, and you've captured that, that's what we're after. Not necessarily the nicest lit, flashiest effects. Explosions are always good, but not necessary. <laughs> Intentional or otherwise. <laughs> uh, just needs to be a good idea. That's it. Um, and no good idea should go unrealized. I, I understand judges will be using a system. Yeah, the judges will be using a system, and the system the judges will be using will be um, systematic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And there's also going to be the People's Choice Award as well, yeah. so which will be judged by the audiences that see your film. And I personally think, um, I think with creative things, having things that are too too much of a competition, that, like, that there's, it's nice to be able to say, my film's better than yours. But um, I kind of prefer it to be more, uh, we're all making stuff and it's good. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. it's good. It's good just to make stuff just rather than stuff. rather than being too much of a focus on mine is better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> and stress. You know, if you think you're gonna not gonna win, 
send your film anyway. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not about it's not about winning. Um, we might even put some prizes in for things that shouldn't win anything um, to encourage people to send. We don't want you to send stuff that you think is rubbish. I think you yeah, know, yeah. if you're proud of what you've done, send it in. Send it in. Doesn't matter what level of polish is applied to it. If you think, if you're proud of it, if you're happy to say, I made that, yep. send it to us. And we'll screen it in front of people. And we'll screen it in front of people. Okay. People will be forced to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that. Captive audience. We might even lock the doors. <laughs> Captive audience. No one's getting out from yeah. the credit roll. What, what I quite like and what I think is missing from a lot of these um, lower budget, um, independently made things is not enough people get to see them. And if they do get seen, maybe it's just on, on YouTube or Vimeo, and you don't have that um, experience of going to a venue, sitting in some seats, being really annoyed by the people with the loud rustly bag behind you, so you you know share the sort of cinema experience yeah, 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 together yeah. as a bit of a, a destination and a, a, an, an event, which um, which which your film could have yeah, with yeah. us in Delray. And and bragging rights, you can get to say you've been screened internationally. And you've been screened internationally in the location that nobody's ever heard of before. Yeah, and they, they can't disprove it. <laughs> they, can't, they can't find it. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's, that's true. That's, I mean, that is the reason people get into making films in the first place. It's so they can go to someone and say, well, your film was very nice, but has it been screened internationally <laughs> like my project was? Yeah, that's why I make film. <laughs> oh, he said. Uh, <laughs> yes, so screenings in November, entries in by end of October. So yeah, end of October. Um, internet here is 20 years behind the time, so uh, we're kind of going with a postal delivery service. <laughs> Send it to a, the address we'll have written below. Entries by post on a disc, that great old technology, um, either DVD or Blu-ray, or um, you know, video high-def files on a Blu-ray if you don't want to do it as a Blu-ray. You could mail us hard drives if you're feeling expensive and we'll um, use them for cool projects after we're done. We're done with taking your footage off them. USB drives. USB drives if you can find a really big one or if your film's only like 10 seconds long. Yep. Short films, long films, range of uh, qualities from super duper cameras to phones. Uh, if you find an old video camera on a tip, and you want to shoot a film on that, would be great. We would de- dearly love to see an entry from somebody who shot a film just on their phone. Yeah, we think it's so it's more important to have a story, get a story across, then to use the latest technology. Um, we certainly don't. <laughs> <laughs> For artistic rather than budgetary reasons, yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> Old school, yeah. yeah. Although if you've got something which you've shot um, on the latest and greatest... Um, please feel free to send that as well. Yeah, and that yeah. might inspire some other people to buy, to buy a buy small one. gear or something. Yeah. yeah. Really cool. Or the Black Magic cameras. Yeah, or red or, um, you know, film, actual film. Actual film. Actual film. We screen an actual film film? Uh, digitised copy. If it's a digitised, digitised yeah, film films, mm. we'll screen that. Oh, you could send a film like a real film and we'd, we'd show it to people, but it would just be, <laughs> yeah, is. look, you hold it up to the light. <laughs> Yep. Um, <laughs> <You can> run it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Um, so it's going to be an event. <laughs> it's going to be a thing. We're Screen, gonna, screened in an old cinema. Screened in an old cinema. We're going to make this, this a yeah. thing which people will turn up to and remember going. Um, and we'd really like it if your film was a part of this. Yes. Um, spread the word because... Um, it of, is a thing. It is a thing. It's going to be a thing. And of all the things we do... Sensible marketing is not one of them. So, so we rely you, on you, you to do it. Yes. <laughs> to tell your friends and say, hey, um, I think our film should be screened internationally. And you, uh, you know, it's been sitting on a shelf for the last 10 years. Oh, man, let's send it into a film festival. Win a fish. Um, or, you know, inspire some people. It's not all about winning and losing. It's about creating stories together and sharing. Being there and being part of the first one. This will be the first one. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, you double the bragging rights. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to be happening November this year, um, yeah. 2014, in case you're watching this in the future. You know, <laughs> exciting, but yeah. we're going to run it every year until we die or think of something better to do or someone actually does stop it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, so send films in. Send them in now. Don't hesitate. Um, do it. And yeah. it'll be great. 
low fuss. There's no fuss. There's no entry fees. Uh, you just fill out the form, which will be available from this link here. Or possibly down there. Or possibly down there. All, all entrants will receive an invitation. Yeah, please feel free to fly to Tasmania and, um, <laughs> and, and we'll put you up in a tent in our garden or something. Um, um, yes. And so tell, it's easy. Yeah, and t- tell your friends. Uh, if you're at a film school, get your whole class. Say, hey, remember that project we did last year? Uh, if you've got a mad uncle who makes films. Um, Even if you've just got a mad uncle. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this, yeah we'll set, here's the address. Um, you know, uh, we also take bribes. Um, <laughs> take suggestions. <laughs> but not very far. Just, just, just yeah. <laughs> Send us stuff. Yeah. It'd be great. Cool. I'm Fraser. And I'm Ian. And we're just bringing you Cloud of Smoke. Ta-da. How about that? <laughs> we'll see you there. <laughs> <coughs> Is that too much smoke? Is that too much smoke?